Floodwaters don't respect boundaries, so it's vital that we work together for the best possible warnings. The Queensland Reconstruction Authority is working with key stakeholders, including the Bureau of Meteorology, the Department of Transport and Main Roads, and local governments to improve Queensland's flood warning infrastructure. The Flood Warning Infrastructure Network project has involved working with 28 local governments with QTEC a Queensland-based specialist contractor to deliver more than 170 new flood warning assets. These new flood warning assets will help keep our community safe with timely weather and flood warnings and forecasts and will help to reduce the cost of future floods. This $8 million project is jointly funded by the Australian and Queensland governments to increase flood resilience in Queensland's far north, northwest and Townsville regions. Following on from the devastation of the 2019 North and Far North Queensland monsoon trough disaster event. Let's take a look. Here in Banyo, Brisbane, we're visiting QTEC Surface Monitoring Division to learn about the range of flood monitoring systems being manufactured to help our Queensland communities. Across QTEC, we focus and deliver on our 4M strategy of measure, monitor, manage and mitigate. Our service division engineers and manufacturers design the flood monitoring systems to measure and monitor flood conditions. This allows us and our clients to manage and mitigate the impacts of severe flooding events all of the flood warning infrastructure assets for the project are manufactured here locally in Queensland for installation in Queensland communities. The systems are designed and built locally with key components sourced through our mature supply chain, both nationally and internationally. This allows us to manufacture fit for purpose systems at competitive pricing, ensuring the systems installed provide real value for money. QTEC currently has around 70 local employees split across the Banyo facility here and in Toowoomba and Townsville. Here at QTEC, we design and build robust environmental monitoring and alert stations. These sensors measure and provide important data for situation awareness for the Bureau of Meteorology to alert and protect communities from the impacts of flooding. The integrated sensors relay critical data and camera imagery to agencies such as the Bureau, councils and community facing disaster dashboards. This intel is used by state recovery and resilience agencies infrastructure authorities and local councils to inform their disaster response and recovery plans. Disaster dashboards provide that important and timely information to support local communities during and after disaster events and help inform decision making to keep residents safe. Our cameras and electronic signs are built to comply with the Department of Transport and Main Roads specifications. Designs for each asset have been certified by professional engineers. Once on site and installed, the systems are fully tested live to ensure the vital data being monitored is connected and sending data to the correct channels. All systems in the field are monitored. Our monitoring systems provide detailed diagnostic data that is shared with our clients that allows planned and scheduled maintenance and avoids costly failures. The flood warning systems use smart sensors and the data can be transferred to the Bureau of Meteorology and local council disaster dashboards using one or a combination of either the alert radio network, local telecommunications networks or satellite connections. Due to the remote locations of some of the flood warning assets, most are battery powered with sufficient solar panels to keep them charged. Let's take a look at the four main types of flood warning infrastructure assets being installed for councils. Rain trees or rain gauges use what's called a tipping bucket that counts each tip that is captured through a simple and robust reed switch. They can capture between 380 and 500 millimetres per hour with a plus or minus 3% accuracy at that intensity and they can operate up to 70 degrees Celsius. They are attached to a data logger that provides QTEX real-time cloud-based data to the Bureau and councils and logs historical data from the day the system was installed. The three metre rain river towers have a constant rate bubbler that calculates water level using an internal pump and a sensor that measures back pressure. These assets can operate for extended periods of time during the worst flood conditions and they can measure 40 to 50 metres of water over an orifice from up to 200 metres away. Adding flood warning signs to our river stations provide motorists with advanced warning of potentially dangerous road conditions, 
They are fitted with variable message panels and flashing lights. Road signage is triggered by the pinpoint accuracy of the water level sensor in the river tower or in the eight metre mast. Warning signs are designed to meet the specifications of the Department of Transport and Main Roads. The flood warning signs are designed to survive the worst conditions and provide reliability when they are needed most. The camera systems capture images and provide data confirmation and a shared situational awareness to responding agencies and the community via council disaster dashboards and the Queensland Traffic website. And it has proven to be an invaluable and heavily relied upon resource. The current cameras have full high definition 1080p video and images and provide a 360 degree pan and 200 degrees of tilt. As a result, they can view multiple points of interest during an event. Adjustable schedules can be set for the client. The cameras can capture any number of points of interest in as low as one to five minute intervals. They have a 200 meter IR range and they can operate up to 70 degrees Celsius. The camera systems are designed to provide 24 hour situational awareness to people who are most at risk in the worst weather conditions. The Queensland Reconstruction Authority is very proud to be delivering this project with its key stakeholders, including the Bureau of Meteorology, the Department of Transport and Main Roads, and local governments to improve Queensland's flood warning infrastructure. Partnering with QTech in 2022, this project will successfully complete the automation of all of the flood warning investment plans from Mackay, west to Diamantina, and north through to the Gulf of Carpentaria and Cape York. To find out more about the Flood Warning Infrastructure Network, visit our website to learn how these assets are helping to measure, monitor and manage and mitigate in real time to ensure Queensland communities have the best possible flood warnings.